Welcome to this video on how to create a quiz in Moodle 3.2. Yes, and like everything in Moodle, it's extremely intuitive. <laughs> Sorry, I almost got a straight face about that. No, it is not intuitive, not in the least. So let me show you how to set up a quiz and how to create a quiz in Moodle. So let's say we're here in the, the shell that we have and there are some quizzes that are already that are already created. So I want to create a new one. So I'm going to go to Add Activity, and I'm going to create a quiz. Alrighty. Now again, this is the way that I figured out how to do it. There may be other ways to do it, but this is how I figured out how to do it. So let's call this Test Quiz. And the description is, this is a test quiz. Make sure we click on that so that's displayed. Now, when you create the quiz, you want to make sure this is the point in time where you can set the timing of when the quiz is going to open or close. So if you're teaching a uh, concept and you don't want them to be able to take the quiz until you've taught the um, concept, some students want to jump ahead, you can make sure that it, you know, the quiz won't open until a certain day, also the, you know, the day that it closes. And you can give it a time limit. For Generally for online quizzes, I do not use a time limit, um, simply because that um, helps me deal with any students who have an IEP. Most of the times they need extended time on quizzes, and frankly, it's just not that big of a deal um, to have not, you know, not have a time limit. All right. Uh, and the grade, this is where you put it into the whatever category you are doing that's already been set up. Uh, attempt allowed. So again, if you let's say you give them, you know, a couple of tests, uh, a couple of attempts, you know, whatever the highest the average grade is, whatever you want to do. But that's where you would change that um, as far as how many attempts you can allow them to do as far as taking the quiz. As far as layout goes, you can do every, you know, however many questions. So, so let's say this is a 10-question quiz. You can do it every two questions, you know, every five. You could have all 10 on one page, whatever. That's for a new page, okay? Show more. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, for the question behavior, uh, shuffle within questions. So this means that when you've created a quiz, every time that the quiz is generated, it will um, shuffle the, uh, the answers within inside the question. So that way students can say, well, the answer for 1 is A, and 2 is B, and 3 is C. Every time they take it, the answers are going to be in a different location. I think that I usually shuffle this just because it makes it uh, easier um, to prevent cheating from student to a student. Okay? There's some other things as far as reviewing and deferred feedback, which we're not going to spend a whole lot of, a lot of time on. Um, that you can go through. But that's just basically how you do it. Okay, well, great. Now, how do I add and also, how do I create questions? Well, you don't. What? No, first you just have to create the quiz. So that's what we're going to do. We just created the quiz. You cannot add the questions yet. Okay, so this is the test quiz. Okay, now we want to edit the quiz. Now, you think, oh, okay, well, no problem. I click on edit, right? Uh, no, no, you don't. You actually click on the quiz. What? Okay, you, to, <laughs> you actually click on the quiz then you can access the gear that allows you to edit the quiz. See how intuitive that is? <sighs> okay, now let's say we want to create a question. Okay, so what we can do is if we've created a bunch of questions from before and we have a question bank we've created, you can pull it up from the question bank. So here's the question bank from, you know, so if you wanted to do like, uh, like a review test at the final and you wanted to take questions off of your quizzes that you had done um, from previous quizzes, you could do it that way. You can just pick the ones you want. That's one way to do it. Okay. Um, you can just pick a random question from your question bank. That's kind of like Russian roulette. I wouldn't do that one. Okay, but let's say we want to create a new question. New question. Also notice here, this is going to be, you know, how many points the overall, you know, grade is going to be for this thing. So let's go ahead and add a new question. And you have some different options. Um, since this is an English class, I generally do multiple choice. Um, or true false. I don't really do short answer. I don't really do essay for this kind of thing. Um, yeah, this is basically better just for multiple choice and for true false. Um, again, if you want to experiment with some of the other ones, uh, knock yourself out. Um, but I have found it to be most effective for multiple choice. So let's go ahead and do multiple choice. Uh, okay, and that'll bring up a thing. Let's call this the question. Um, what? School, do you work at? Poorly phrased. Uh, let's say, 
what is the name of this school? Okay. So that's the question name. And then you can actually give like a question name. Everyone should know where they are. You can have like a bigger question if you wanted to. What is the name of this school? Okay. So there's my question. Okay, now you can figure out how many default points it's going to be. Well, if, you're, if your overall quiz is going to be 100 points and you're going to have 10 questions, well, then just change that to 10. Okay, if you're only going to have 5 questions, change that to 20. Or however you want to do the math. Okay, but if, let's just say we're doing 10 questions, so keep that at 10. 10 times 10 is 100. Then you can give general feedback like, wow, you know where you are. Don't you? Anyway, this is general feedback. You could give, like, you know, if you're talking about comma splices, you could give general, you know, remember a comma splice is two independent clauses separated only by a comma or something like that. Okay, then you can choose, okay, do they want to have one answer only or they can choose multiple answers? Again, your personal preference. Uh, again, some of the choices, I say yes, keep that checked. Okay, and then you can figure out how you want to number these. You can either do lowercase, uppercase, whatever, whatever you want to do. Okay, I usually do that for whatever reason. And then you give them the choice. Okay, so let's say, let's say uh, Duke. Okay, that is the wrong answer, so they would get no points for that. Okay, and then you can give feedback. Uh, nope, not Duke. You don't have to give feedback. Okay, and then choice two would be Shaw. Great. Congratulations. That's 100% correct. Okay, so again, you could do percentages of, well, let's say they said Shaw College. Well, no, that would only be 50% right. I don't know. However you want to do it, Shaw. You say feedback. Yes. Way to go. And then you just keep going on and on and on. And you can have more choices, and, you know, as many choices as you want. Okay, let's do one more for giggles. Um, choice three would be, um, let's see, toys. How do I do that? R. Can't really do a backwards R. I don't have a Russian keyboard. Uh, us. Okay. Uh, that would be none. Yeah, feedback would be like, huh? Okay, so then you would actually then go ahead and you would save that those changes. Now you have created a quiz question. Yay! And you can edit the question. So if you're like, oh, I made a mistake, you can always go back in and click on that gear. And you can edit the question if you want to give more feedback. Okay, so that's one way to do that. What else can you do? Then you'll see that's page one. So uh, again, if you're like, oh, you know, I was going to have ten questions, but I decided only to have five. Actually, I'm going to decide to have one, so I'm going to change how many points this is worth. I'm going to change that to, oops, i got to click on the pencil. I'm going to change that to 100, because I just want to do the one question. Um, you can delete the question, or you can actually preview the question, so it shows you what it looked like. Okay. And then, yeah. So, and then you save it. So now that quiz has been saved. Ta-da! Yay! So now when we go back to the little shell, there's the quiz. I can preview the quiz now. Okay, everyone should know where they are. What's the name of the school? I'm going to go Toys R Us. Finish attempt. Submit and finish all. Submit and finish. Oh, I got it wrong. Huh? The correct answer is Shaw. Anyway, so that's how you do a quiz. And again, if you've set it up in your grade book, then it'll automatically grade it for you and put the points into your grade book. So. Yay for that. All right.